morning guys and we have made it to the French Alps, I was about to say the Swiss Alps then because we actually landed in Geneva yesterday. So we got here yesterday, got to the chalet around like three, four-ish because it's quite a long travel. Like we got into Geneva and then it's a about three hour transfer up here and then last night we just had like champagne canopies and dinner in the chalet which was just really nice got like all of our ski gear and just got ready for today but we've woken up and look at the amount of snow like you can see it here on the balcony there is so much snow we've basically had like a snow blizzard last night so we're waiting for it to settle so we can head on at the slopes this morning i'm so excited to get my skis on because i haven't skied since we came back here like two years ago so we're in val d'azere we're in the nicest little it's kind of like an apartment chalet because we're here with two of our friends as well so i'll give you a little bit of a room tour but i'm in these bougie pjs from nadine marabi so i thought i'd bring them with me i wore them last night when we did like champagne and stuff in the chalet which was really nice um so we've woken up this morning i've got myself together i normally don't wear makeup but we're going for a really nice lunch today at lulu's so we we're going to do lulu's when we went to paris and they've kindly invited me to go stay here in Val d'Azere. So I thought I would get myself kind of together today for like a nice lunch stop off. So it's just going to be one of those days where it's the first day here. It's Monday. We're going to get our skis on. I feel like we're all going to be a bit rusty and go up to, I think we're going to start on like the green slope and just see how we get on first. But it's absolutely freezing. I'm stood outside in my PJs right now. I've also got my Uggs on. Um, but as soon as we got here last night, I unpacked. So I'm going to do you a little kind of like chalet well, it's not it's like, it's like a chalet it's a mini one it's an apartment so definitely recommend this place it's fully catered it's like we woke up this morning had breakfast ready for us dinner was ready last night it's just a nice little looks feeling so highly recommend if we come back again i'm definitely booking with these because we're meant to come in new year and we booked with these for like a bigger chalet because there's going to be about like eight to ten of us but because there's only four can you see all the snow coming down it just feels so nice it's like a little winter wonderland here on this balcony but i'm going to go inside now because i'm absolutely freezing and show you around before I put on my so ski this gear. is our little bedroom it's a little kind of stand here a bit messy I've just been getting ready this morning I've just got my laptop my little scarf here you might have seen in the last vlog I did a pack with me so you can kind of see everything I've packed I've brought my own helmet ignore my little morning juice and then I've got my slippers and stuff down here some of Chris's shoes which he has not organized and then in here I've unpacked everything so I've got my two ski suits my um black ski suit, Frankie Shop Chile, like some of my jumpers that I've unpacked, ski trousers, other jumpers. I've got all my accessories up here, like my glasses, my Celine goggles. These little cubes, by the way, are a game changer. I showed you in the last vlog with a pack with me, like I said. I've got all my accessories in here, like gloves. And then over on this side, we've put all of our like folded stuff, like jumpers, thermals, like all my base layers. Some of my other comfies down there, like my Anya Bing hoodie. And then this is all Chris's stuff up here. So he's got a little bit less space, bless him. Got our bed here. So it's like, I think it's like a queen size. But look how big these ceilings are. They go all the way up. It's just like such a nice aesthetic. Like all of the beams. It's just like that nice rustic feel. I'm going to close this door because it is freezing. And then this is our little bathroom in here as well. Which is actually a really nice size. Got a nice big shower, and then I've packed all of our toiletries in here as well. Put Chris's away for him. And then some of my hair stuff in here. So I'll show you the rest of the little apartment. So you come through here, we've just got like our little hanger rack. I'm not actually sure what's in this cupboard. I think it's, yeah, just the electrical stuff. This is all like the cleaning stuff. I think Vicky's put her like suitcase in here as well. So we've got a nice big hallway. This is like the main bathroom for everyone to use in here. Kitchen, a little dining area. And then it's a nice big area here where we can just chill out. I feel like it's not picking up the light. Here we go. Chris is ready. All in his ski gear, no idea. <laughs> and then we've got a nice little fireplace on this side as well. So it's just really cozy. Sorry, I feel like the camera is going all over the place. We managed to get the fire started last night. And then again, nice big ceilings up here. It's just so pretty. And this is the better view out on this balcony. If you come out here and you can see 
the little Val d'Isere town. Oh, snowy. And the mountains up there, so you can see the Black La Fasse. That's what we'll probably do on the last day. Obviously, there's no skis on it at the minute. And then just here is literally the ski slope. So we are a literal throw to the ski slope. It's an amazing location and just such a nice little pretty vibe. But it's coming down heavy with the snow right now. I'm freezing. And this is the little village here that you can see. But it's just so nice waking up to these views. And then you come back through this hallway. That's the other bedroom. And back to our bedroom. So I'm going to get changed now into my outfit of the day which is this one i think i'm gonna because it's quite cold today and the snow's still coming down i'm definitely going to go for my warmer jacket so i've got my perfect moment one i think i'm going to go all black today my thermal socks black little puff sleeve jumper which i'll layer over the top of my sweaty betty thermal so i've got the top and the leggings to match. I think this is the Jacquard set. And then my Salopette. So these are ones actually from H&M and they feel a lot thinner. So hopefully I'll be warm with my thermals underneath. I am literally balancing this on the balcony. I really hope it doesn't fall. But first outfit of the day skiing. I've got my perfect moment jacket on. Love this belt. And you can also take it off and it has a tie belt. I've got my layers underneath, my sweaty Betty layers, thermals. These Salopettes are actually from H&M. And I've got my moon boots on. This little black beanie, I'm pretty sure this is from H&M, sling goggles, and then I'll take my helmet as well, and I'm ready, and obviously pack my gloves, backpack, good to go. So we've officially done first morning of skiing, I actually wasn't too bad, it was a little bit rusty to begin with, and then we picked it back up, but we mainly just did greens this morning, and then we just sat now at Lulu's, it is so beautiful here, such a lovely setting, they just give us these little soups, which is actually really nice. And I feel like I'm traveling my inner parent trap vibes with this hat and glasses. But I'm liking it, the 90s vibe. So, just checking out the menu. I think we're gonna go pizza, meatballs, and rose is on the way. Maybe these two are a country for a plan, I think. So we've got <laughs> brilliant way to start it. We've gone with the aubergine parmigiana, a big burrata. Yum, and it, get that wine. Give me a top up, Nick. <laughs> no, I need a top up, I've got nothing. <laughs> Is it not behind you? Oh. morning guys not sure where i left the vlog off yesterday i think it's when we were having shots at lunch it was so nice we went to lulu's and then we had the rest of the afternoon on the slopes but because it was my first day i couldn't actually like film me on the slopes while skiing so i'm like picking it all back up again but it's day two and this is my outfit of the day i've got my frankie shop gilet arm all the layers underneath i've got some nice base layers on from h&m and then it's actually meant to be a bit warmer today hence why i've gone for the gilet I've got the white salad pets on from H&M. Here he is. And my little cute snow boots, again from H&M. This beanie is super old, I'll try and link simmer. And these glasses are from Atelier. And that is my look for day two. Right, people have wanted a bit of a boot kit. Yeah. So, obviously make sure these aren't catching on, pull them to the side. And then when you put it on, pull this tongue out to the left and pull that out. Oh, that's bad. Shoot go. Shoot go in. Wow. Shoot go in. Right, don't think I'll be doing that one. I'm just trying it out. Be sat down. Oh be sat down when you do that and you'll be alright. So we've just got back from skiing for the afternoon. We're gonna to go to Cocorico's, but how cute is this? Every afternoon when we come back, we have like a big loaf with like jam and cream and stuff. They have the coffee for us and they literally bake a fresh cake every day. I think today is carrot cake. I literally just had a little slice. And they leave us cute little notes as well every time we come back, like please enjoy the carrot cake and telling us what's on dinner tonight and having a boogie at Coco's, it's so cute. So we always come and have our little afternoon tea after being on the slopes, looking out to this gorgeous view.
good morning i feel like i really haven't vlogged been on the slopes so far so i'll try and take my vlog camera out i have actually showered and blow dried my hair this morning hence why it's super floppy but we're at Abpro last night so we had a late one and up this morning and i've got the gilet on but i've actually put the perfect moments about around it holland and cooper jumper it's actually quite sunny today my headband i've put a little bit of makeup on today as well just a little base layer black cellar pets socks and i'm going to put my snow boots on so this is the look i've just kind of changed the pieces up underneath and then put the belt with it so it's more of like a cream and black look hello hello i'm finally actually vlogging from the mountains look at this set and how beautiful it is we've literally stopped in the middle of a run we've been doing the blue runs all morning this is just so pretty i had to stop and get a quick pick we're literally at the top of the mountain i don't know if you can see down there but there was a black one wasn't the babe you want to do it tomorrow and i'm it was absolutely We're doing it tomorrow immediately no <laughs> it looked worse than lafasse but it's actually a really nice and sunny day so i don't need my jacket we're gonna head now and get some lunch So we got back from skiing. This is currently the state of me with pseudo cream on. But I'm just about to get ready. We came back and we hit the spa. I tried to vlog being at the spa, but it was just like missing up because it was so hot in there. But um, my friend Vicky has brought her Dyson Air out, which is a godsend. So I'm just gonna curl my hair under. I think I'm just gonna do like a BB cream because I had makeup on my skin today. And with the cold, I just feel like it's gone super red. I need to give it a break, hence the spot cream. So I'm just gonna use the Dyson, blow out my hair, put on some jewelry, maybe just like a bit of a BB cream um, on my skin, just kind of like even out. But this is what I love about skiing, it's just super chill. Wear my Prada jumper, leggings, I'm gonna wear my moon boots or maybe my Uggs and my big coat. And that is just the vibe tonight. I've quickly used the Dyson on my hair. I feel like you can't really see in this mirror, but like I said, it's very chill tonight. I'm actually just gonna give my skin a break because I feel like I've been wearing makeup on the slopes. I just feel like it just feels so tight and dry and I'm just literally lathering it in moisturizer. Ready for dinner. <music> Good morning. These are the looks of today. I've got my perfect moment sports jumper on, the ski one. It's actually really hot today, so I haven't actually layered up. I've just got this ski trousers. Chris is in his all black, summer pets. Always. My hair, I don't even know what's going on with it, but I'm literally obviously going to put my helmet on. And I'm having a no makeup day today. And then we're going to have a morning ski in just us. Doing some blues, are we? A bit of everything. Blues, reds. Yeah, we're going to do some nice runs this morning. Then we've got a really nice lunch booked in at Panoramic this afternoon. We went there a few years ago. So I'm excited to go back. So we've just finished our morning runs. We, we literally did the Mowgli's red, didn't we, babe? Literally, so bumpy. You had good. a little fall. Yeah, I did have a fall. My up. first fall of the day. But the settings right now, we're just stopping. By the way, I never, ever, ever drink beer, do I? But this holiday, I've got into just having like a little small one when we stop off. Let me show the settings. Get up. <laughs> just realised the she is. one done as well. <laughs> so pretty, isn't it? This is a lovely little run coming into the village. That's the one we just did, isn't it? 
Yeah, no, we did the little bit off the side, which is the red. Wow. What's this very, one? Very, very Mowgli red. That looks very Mowgli black. That's off piece there. Oh. So we need There's to get the bus back into the, the village now. So yeah, he's gone to find some food. on the slopes and Chris is going for it with a fire. We have no start wood but I have full hopes that you're gonna do this. Nice little cozy vibes, playing some games. <laughs> you burned your head in the fire, that's why. <laughs> Good morning, we have woken up to snow. Obviously this means we might not be able to go on the slopes this morning, but look how pretty it is. I mean, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to ski, can't even see the mountain, but it looks stunning. It's like a winter wonderland. This is my morning ritual. My pancakes, lemon, sugar, lemon water, and we put the electrolytes in the water to help us give us some like, minerals. And I've had my espresso. Chris is feeling this morning, aren't you, babe? Horrid. <laughs> to sum it up. So this is what I pack in the backpack every day. I've got the Coal Lager Feld one. I've got my Snood. These are so good, these hand warmers. My hat, goggles, hand cream, sun cream, lip ba um, balm, which has SPF in as well. The Elizabeth Arden one. Cannot go without that. Gloves, my phone charger, battery pack, my vlog camera, which goes in here. I think that's everything. Oh, and a water bottle. So that's everything that I need to pack for the day on the slopes. So it is officially snowing a lot outside. So we're gonna just take it easy this morning. I had my morning pancakes, I love it. I'm just gonna put on a bit of makeup today because I think hopefully we're gonna go to the valley later and do a bit of apres ski. Hopefully we can get on the slopes later this afternoon as well. I thought I'll just put my makeup on there, guys. I'm not gonna put on a lot, obviously. I've already done my base layer, I always use the Cordley SPF. I've got the 31 and the 50, but I always take the 50 in my bag and have to reapply this all the time. Prime my face, I'm just gonna, oh, wow. That must have been from the pressure on the plane. But yeah, I'm just going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow, just to give me a bit of a shine. I've been breaking out, but I'm not surprised. I've been drinking a lot of wine, eating a lot of dairy, meat, and all of the above, so my skin is paying for it. And then I've actually been using this CC, the By Terry CC serum, and just not wearing anything else. And this is a really good, just like really kind of like base layer, gives you a nice shine, um, and it's hydrating. So I'm going to put that on the bottom actually, because I don't want to wear like foundation. I'm just going to use this and let my skin breathe. My thermals, by the way, I'm wearing my sweaty Betty ones, and because it's so snowy today, I'm going to wear my snowsuit from Holland and Cooper and try and keep as warm as possible. Because the past few days it's been so hot, I've literally just thrown my jumper in my gilet. So, I'm now going to go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, Sharp Tilbury. This is shade medium four. And again, this is just like a really light layer rather than wearing foundation, just to kind of like even out my skin hide a few of these nasty spots that I've got here the side of my cheek as well but like because of the light here it's making it have a weird like light shine over the camera but hopefully it's not too annoying for you guys to watch I just feel like I haven't been vlogging as much on the trip and it's just generally because we're having the best time and I keep forgetting to pick up my camera especially on with the slopes because if you've got your phone and you're doing any kind of like stories or stuff to get out the vlog camera as well. It can be a lot. 
when you're skiing and obviously you need both hands so I'll try and vlog as much as I can for the rest of the trip but as you can see that just gives you like a nice even out skin tone rather than like having a thick foundation on your face especially when it's so cold today with the weather conditions I don't want to put a lot on so that will do I've also recently been using the Hourglass Concealer this is in Sepia this is the new Vanish one and it's actually really good I feel like it brightens under your eyes it's a little bit thicker than I'm used to with concealers and obviously hides these blemishes that I've got. So I'm just going to put in a bit of concealer to hide all of that today. Another little godsend that I've brought with me, which is such a must when you're skiing. I've got the Elizabeth Arden SPF lip balm and then I've also brought the 8 hour and we have been lathering this on because your lips get so dry and also just everywhere else like under my eyes, around my nose it gets dry. I feel like I can never be without my 8 hour cream. Definitely recommend if you haven't got it but as you can see this is just starting to kind of lighten under my eyes. We haven't been sleeping that well here. I don't know if it's the altitude or just like the bed isn't as comfortable but I'm definitely lacking on sleep, hence the eye bags I'm trying to cover up. So I'm going to finish off my makeup, show you when it's done. I mean, it's not going to be anything crazy. Like I said, I'm not putting it on today. And then pick out my outfit. Just put a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury lip balm. This is the Collagen Lip Bath, the Pillow Talk. It's so hydrating on your lips. It's like minty and it plumps them up as well. But as you can see, I haven't got a lot on. I'm just going to do my hair. It's been shoved up in a clip all morning. I think I'm actually just going to put it back. But it's hard to do your hair here because obviously you're wearing your helmet all the time. So I normally just leave it down and then put like a headband or like a hat on or something. But yeah, I'm ready for the day. <laughs> so I've got Vicky. Why is it not in my focusing? Here we go. No? It's not focusing. Here we go. She's got it <laughs> my white ski it's all of this food we've been eating. We've had so much French baguette. <laughs> Get it on, girl. You can do it. Okay, you can't really see the outfit in this lighting, but the ski suit is on. This Holland and Cooper one comes in here with the belt, little gold accessories, big hood. I've got my sweaty belly thermals underneath, black beanie, and I'm ready for the snow. It is literally snowing outside, so it's going to be freezing up on the slopes. Just got to put on my socks, boots, ready to go also. So we've been skiing all morning. Babe, how hard was it? And Vic? Yeah, I couldn't see anything. We were literally skiing into a bliss. Like, you just couldn't see in front of you. Top <laughs> tip. Can you see? Yeah, Vicky brought the these hand warmer. warmers. They're so good. We've put them in our gloves. Um, but the sun is just starting to peek through the mountain now. We've stopped off, had some moe that we brought with us. Just some like French baguettes. It's just been such a nice morning. The fact that the sun's coming out now. If you can kind of see behind me. So we're going to do a few more runs and then go to Furly Doos. Just hoping and praying that this sun stays because this morning was not fun. It was just literally you just couldn't see in front of us. Right out. It's sunny now though. Yeah, yeah you can see the sun's coming out. And Vicky says this is her favourite outfit of mine of the trip. Yeah, right? Love it. Yeah, the Can black suit. Yeah. <laughs> Arse looks good. Thanks, babe. <laughs> finally on the slopes last full day of skiing and we're about to go do the black for the first time we've done it before well, just the black the, yeah the black it's called bass. the fast and um i don't know if i'm ready for it to be honest because our chalet host was saying the guy in the apartment opposite us did it the other day and broke his legs so i was like that is not a good sign for me to want to go on this slope this morning but also it's so broken after a week of skiing everything hurts i'm dying but i'm gonna do it we're gonna smash it, aren't we, babe? 
Yeah, Can we buddy. get a beer or something after? Yeah, a little bit. Do you ever think you would ever hear that from me? No, never. No? Never. I'd need something at maybe like a hot slow. chocolate or something. Yeah. Little so bit. just waiting for our friends now to come meet us and do the slope with us. and change into my moon boots because if you've been skiing you know if you're gonna do at prey ski you've got to do it in your moon boots because I was so ready to take my proper ski snow boots off I'm just gonna go meet everyone now it's so cold but it just felt good to do the last one earlier and now the last few drinks before we go back I think we've got like champagne canopies tonight and dinner we're just gonna do some games and stuff 